Good morning everyone. In today's video I'm going to do another how-to video and I'm just going to do a how to do a flip cup which is a really basic technique. Um, it was one of the first ones that I ever learned how to do. So I'm just going to go through my supplies really quick. I have my canvas. It's a 9 by 12 canvas. Um, one thing I like to do is to tape off the back of my canvas so that it stays clean and then if I finish a piece with resin, the tape helps um, get those dried pieces of resin off. Um, but I have my canvas, I have um, some different uh, brands of paint, I have white, a light blue, dark blue, um, aqua light green, and then a copper color. I'm going to be using Floetrol as my pouring medium. Um, this is a gallon size. I actually started getting this online. Um, some stores like Home Depot and Lowe's have this, but my Lowe's that I normally get it from has not had the gallon sizes in a while. And then I'm also using a hair serum. This is, um, you can use 100% liquid silicone to create cells in your painting. So I'll be creating some cells today. This actually has um, liquid dimethicone in it, and dimethicone is the uh, makeup grade silicone. So you can get um, different hair products at the store uh, that have dimethicone in it that help create cells. So I just like using this. I'm only going to use a very small amount. I'll use one drop in probably just one color, um, and that is enough to create some great cells throughout a piece. And then I also just have some water and then cups and my stir sticks. And then I do have some smaller cups and what I'm going to do is rest my canvas on these so that after I uh, do my flip cup and then tilt out my design, my canvas will dry on the cups so that it's not resting in any um, paint that might be um, that I might have tilted off. So I normally do about um, two parts medium to one part paint depending on um, what I'm doing. So I'm just going to get my paint in my cups and then I will start uh, mixing everything in. And I'll probably have more paint than I need for this but I'll use the paint up in um, another piece so that none of it goes to waste. So this one is almost empty, so I'm just going to mix two lighter blue colors together just to use up my paint. So this is kind of a turquoise color, so those will go fine together. Okay, so I'm just going to shake this up before I use it. Um, some people find that it can get lumpy, um, so you can always strain it if you have issues. I don't have too many, but... Um, that can always be a problem with some of your pouring mediums. And I don't really get too precise with my measurements, but if you um, want to, you could always get something like a food scale to weigh out your um, paint and your pouring medium to make sure that you are getting the exact measurements that you want if you are sticking to a um, specific recipe. I know some people make their own pouring mediums and they have their own uh, measurements that they like to use. Sargent Art Gloss Medium and Floetrol are probably my two most used pouring mediums so I just make sure that I have a lot of those on hand. And I think I'm just going to put one drop of my hair serum in my copper and that will just help create some cells throughout my piece and literally just one drop. If you do, if you use too much um, silicone, the paint will actually kind of pull away from the canvas and you could have some bare spots where the paint just won't adhere because there's just too much silicone. So you may just have to test it out if you try it and it doesn't work the way that you want use more silicone or use less silicone as needed. Um, so now that I have my pouring medium incorporated, I'm just gonna start slowly adding some water. I don't wanna make my paints too thin. Still needs a little more. 
That's good. That's a nice consistency. Okay, so just a little bit of water in each of these, and then we'll start with the pour. I'm gonna add a little bit more Floetrol into this color. I'd like a little bit more of that dark blue. And I'm just adding a couple of teaspoons of water at a time. I like to just go slowly with the water so that I don't add too much and then have issues with my uh, paint mixture being too thin because then you have to start figuring out adding more paint or medium to thicken it all back up again. That one's good. So I'll add a little bit of water to each of these. This one is not going to need too much water at all. It was all, um, the tube paint for this one was quite thin already. So just add a little bit so that it goes just a tiny bit more. There we go. My white paint in the tub is quite a bit thicker, so it takes quite a bit more water to thin this one down. But again, we'll just incorporate it slowly until it is good to go. That one's pretty good. Then we'll finish up with this light blue and then we'll do our flip cups. All right, so we've got each of our colors mixed up. They're all a really nice consistency. That copper just sitting there for a minute needs just a tad more water. That can happen if it's taking you a while to mix up all your paints. Some of the first ones may have thickened slightly, so always check them right before you pour. That's just a little bit better. So I'm going to prop my canvas up here. And then I'm actually just gonna take, I think I'm gonna do three. So with this technique, um, you take each of your colors and you pour them into your cups and then you flip them over onto your canvas and then pull them back. So that's where the flip cup comes in. So you could do one big flip cup. Um, I'm just choosing to do three smaller ones and then you can adjust as necessary. Um, if you don't like the way that one of them turns out, you can always add a little bit more paint and flip it again. But I'm just going to alternate my colors. I'm not going to make each one of them the same. Try and make them a little bit different with my color palettes just so that hopefully one color won't take over. And I can already see the copper in this one cup that I put in um, is already just making cells right in that cup. So that should hopefully uh, make some nice cells throughout the piece. I really like this dark blue, so I'm going to add more of that to each cup. And then they're actually quite full, so I'm just going to flip these. Okay, so just flip them as is. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. So you can do it like this, where you grab your canvas and then flip it right over. Or if you have some skills, you could just do that. And we'll try that one more time with my last cup. This one I feel like is gonna go everywhere. There we go. Okay, so now just going to pull them back and you can see those cells are just popping like crazy. I just added that one drop of silicone in the copper so you really um, do not need that much silicone to make cells. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm just gonna tilt. I don't torch that much. Um, you can torch if you want to, to help create even more cells. It's just my preference not to.
and you can tilt as much or as little as you want. I didn't like one area, so I tilted it off. And then just touch up my edges a little bit. Take some of that paint that I tilted. I really like those colors, especially that dark blue. That one was really pretty. So yeah, so if you don't like any areas, you could always do another flip cup and tilt again, um, or you could just pour some paint on here. Um, but I like it as is. Uh, again, just that one drop of silicone in the copper really created a lot of cells throughout the entire piece. Um, I find that Floetrol also works well for that. Even if you don't use silicone, sometimes you can get some really pretty cells. So I'm just gonna let this dry and we'll take a look at it once it's all dry. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, let me know if there are any techniques that you wanna see uh, more in-depth how-to video like this. I have a couple other techniques that I'm going to do um, just because I know they're popular techniques and I know some people have a lot of questions with um, mediums and how you mix your paints for certain things. So I just wanted to give a little bit more in depth on how I do some of my pours. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.